Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this lesson we're going to draw a cos graph and specifically we're going to be drawing y equals to cos of x plus 30. So let's go ahead and start with that. So remember whenever you draw a graph you can just use the calculator. You then type in the equation on your calculator. Your starting point will always be the starting domain that they've given you. The ending point is the starting domain that they've given you and we are the ending domain sorry and then for your step, well that's always going to be equal to the period of the graph divided by 4. So what we have here is a cos graph that is that has a x plus 60. Now what that does to a graph, remember parabola, hyperbola, if you have x plus or x minus, it simply moves the graph in a horizontal direction. So if you have a graph that is like this, it might be moved up a little bit, so each point will move up, and so you might get a graph that looks something like that. But what we won't see happening is the graph becoming shorter or longer. Okay, so it's not going to do something like this or something like that. So the length of the graph will stay the same. Period is defined as the length for one complete cycle. So because our length is not changing, our period will stay 360. And so the step that we're going to use on the calculator will be 360 over 4, which is 90. Now what that means is that later on when we draw this, the steps on your x-axis will also go in 90s. And so then after you push your step on the calculator, it then gives you a table of values, and now we can plot. So now on your x-axis, you will label it in 90 degrees because that was our step. And then on the negative x-axis side, we're going to go to negative 180. And then you simply just fill in the values that you have on your calculator. So if you have that in front of you, we saw that the first x value was negative 180 and the y value, oh no, wait, let me first put the y value. So we've got a 0 0.5 and I'm going to just put a, a 1 and then I also know that there's going to be a 0 0.865. Then I'm going to do the same on the negative side, so it's going to be negative 0 0.5 negative 1 and then somewhere in between there's going to be negative 0 0.865. The only reason I know that is because of the values we saw on the calculator. So the first one we see is negative 8, 180 and negative 0 0.5 so hopefully you've got this on your calculator as well so I'm going to put a point over there. Then we've got negative 90 and 0 0.865 so that's going to be somewhere over here and now I'm going to go ahead and just plot all the points. Now once we have our dots, we should also remember that the calculator doesn't give us very nice values and so we must remember that a cos graph normally starts at 1 and then does something like that and then does something like that. So the point is, is that at 0 degrees it usually has a y value of 1. But this is a graph that has been moved 60 degrees to the left. Remember when you say x plus 60 it means that it's going to slide 60 degrees to the left. So the point 0, 1 would then become negative 60 and 1. So that's going to be somewhere over here. So I'm just going to label this point as minus 60 and 1. Then this point over here is normally 180 and negative 1 so now it's going to become 120 and negative 1 so that's going to be somewhere over here 120 and negative 1 and then this point over here is negative 180 but now that's going to slide 60 degrees to the left and so oh that one we actually won't have to show because that goes outside of our given domain so now we can attempt to, to connect the dots as smoothly as possible and then it would also be a good idea to just label all the intercepts so it's always a good idea to know exactly how the original cos graph works so we know the original cos graph cuts the x-axis over here at 270 degrees so if you move that point 60 degrees to the left well then the new x-intercept is going to be at 210 and 0 and then it also cuts the x-axis at 90 degrees, so now if you move it 60 degrees to the left, that's obviously going to be 30 degrees. See, because the calculator doesn't show you everything, then we can label this y-intercept, which is 0 and 0 0.5. 
and then this x intercept over here well that's going to be this one which usually takes place at negative 90 so now that it's been moved 60 degrees to the left it's going to be negative 150 so some teachers or examiners won't expect all of that but I would rather just take the time in the test and just put as much as you can so the important things you want to show is the x-intercept, the y-intercept, as well as all the little turning points. So there we have the graph. Now, B, question B, what does the x plus 60 do to the graph? Well, when you have a, any type of equation that has x plus something, it's actually going to shift the graph. So that's going to shift the graph 60 degrees left. Okay, I know it's tempting to say right because they're saying plus, but remember with x values, it's the opposite. So if I say x plus 30, then it means they're moving the graph 30 degrees to the left. If I say x minus 30, they're moving it 30 degrees to the right. Question C says determine the amplitude. Well, the amplitude is the distance from the resting position. So the resting position of this graph is going to be this green line over here. And so if we look at the maximum distance up, well, that's still going to be 1. This graph hasn't been moved in the vertical direction, so the amplitude will be 1. The range, well the range is all the y value, so we say y is an element. Now the lowest value is minus 1 and the highest value is 1, so we will just go from minus 1 up to 1. The square brackets are to show that we are including those values. The domain, that's your x values, and that's got nothing to do with the graph, it's got to do with what they've given you. So it's between minus 180, and we will include those points, up to 360. And then lastly, the period, well, we looked at that earlier on in the video where we said that this period, this graph has not been um, made smaller or larger. It's just been moved across. And so the period will still stay the same. So for a standard cos and sin, it's always 360 degrees. And then lastly, I'm just going to show you what the graph is supposed to look like if drawn very neatly and on the, so on the same axis I'm going to have the original cos graph and then the new one. And so here we can see we have the red graph which is the original cos graph and then the blue one is the new one which has been moved 60 degrees left. So every single point has been moved. So for example this point which is on the original is now over here. This point here is now over there this point here has been moved over there, this point here. So you can see that every single point has been moved 60 degrees to the left. Thanks for watching.